That's right. I'm back. Please, please. No parade. So <laughs> New Jersey's getting sued. New Jersey is going to get the crap sued out of it when all of this is said and done because it's been a gigantic operation of the destruction and wanton disregard of our constitutional rights. And so there will be tons of litigation of taking place once all this is said and done and settled. Which brings us to Viva Frey a fantastic content creator here on the platform who's also a Montreal litigator that I can listen to break down legalese all day. I really enjoy his content. And what he does in this video, he's going to go after Massachusetts Murphy, the, the greatest governor ever sent to a to ever carpet bagged into office and became a freaking tyrant. So without further ado, I'm going to let Mr. Frey here get into it. Just quickly go over that article. A New Jersey couple was reportedly charged with child endangerment after police say they threw a party which violated an order on social gatherings. According to NBC News, the parents threw the party Sunday in Lakewood, New Jersey, and police had to tell about 40 to 50 people in the front yard to disperse. Now, I'm not going to identify the couple because the purpose of this video is not to put them on blast, but we are going to come back to this subject towards the end of this video for another reason entirely. The couple, identified as blank and blank, who reportedly has five children, was charged with one count of child endangerment for each child. NBC Philadelphia reported the couple was holding a bat mitzvah at their home. Now, don't misinterpret the purpose of this vlog. I am by no means saying that people should be defying the orders prohibiting public gatherings. Nor am I the type to say we should all just blindly follow the law because the law is the law, therefore you have to follow it. Under okay, so he talks super fast, as you can tell, and it's kind of hard to get a word in. So, I, the, the deal is that the social gatherings thing as an ordinance I believe it to be legally just, but the um, the enforcement and the locking people up for defying this ordinance, which, you know, I, under the circumstances, right, it's very reasonable, but still government's not to have that government really shouldn't be in the business of telling you what you can and cannot do as an individual as a person and to have our government come through and just so uh arm fist like enforce these laws and really send people to jail while simultaneously releasing people from jail is insanity it really is. And it's now opened the state up for tons. It's the state and Murphy in and of, in and of himself up for tons of legal action. It's a very exceptional set of circumstances. I do think everybody has to follow the law and hope that the laws are proportionate and effective. If or when these laws become excessively burdensome or clearly ineffective or last an excessive period of time, then we can revisit this discussion. But for See, here's the thing. This is where we completely diverge because they've already lasted too long. It really, it, it should, it, uh, honestly, here's the thing about life and liberty and the like is that you got to live it. You have to be able to live it. And if people want to sit there and put their lives at risk, put themselves at risk, uh, you know, going out and like, it's, it's their right. And that's where there is, like, I, I, there's so much, uh, <laughs> so much, uh, I guess, uh, friction, at least on my end, because, you know, Putting out an ordinance saying, hey, making it a strong suggestion is one thing, but going after people and locking them up and, you know, ha go having your having what uh, accounts to stormtroopers running through the streets and stopping people. And, hey, you know, what I'm saying like in many spaces and this isn't just extended here to Jersey, but like elsewhere, they're like, you know, looking, asking for papers and the like, like, <laughs> like, bruh, bruh, do you not know this country's history? That's a... Uh... That's that's I I can't help but feel like the entire scenario in many ways to a, to a maybe a free thinking judge would be legally dubious at best. The time being, I think everybody should follow these prohibitions on public gatherings for everybody's safety. I for one have not seen my parents face to face in three weeks. They live one kilometer up the street. I haven't seen my parents face to face in three weeks. And you know what? You made that choice, bro. I I love you. I enjoy your content, brother. I'm links definitely going to be in the description, but that's a choice that you made for their safety because hey, yeah. But that's the thing. That's your choice. That's your choice. When police are coming in and raiding people's situ uh, raiding, raiding people's homes and breaking up birthday parties and bat mitzvahs and the like, 
it, that's where we have crossed a line that I don't think any red blooded American should be should be comfortable with at all. For the time, even though he's Canadian. It really doesn't matter what I think of these prohibitions, I'm going to follow them in the hopes that they are in fact effective. With that said, this is where the story goes haywire. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy issued a warning telling residents not to throw parties. Quote, can't believe I have to say this at all, let alone for the second time. But here we go. No my Sharona parties. They're illegal, dangerous, and stupid. We will crash your party, you will pay a big fine, and we will name and shame you until everyone gets this message into their heads. This dude is like a dictatorial is like that mindset, that authoritarian. I know better for you, Mike Bloomberg. Uh, what's that? A uh, 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 thirty-two ounce cups is illegal <laughs> mindset. That, that that like ultimately is a violation of the next person's liberty. Is is jack shit. Let's be real. Uh, I can't believe I have to say this at all, let alone for the second time. Yeah. Um. Until everyone gets this message into their head, we're gonna knit publicly name and shame you until everyone gets this message into their heads. He like, how does this come across as some? You don't know this state. First and foremost, you don't know New Jersey at all because that's not how they. I've shown videos. Um, what was that one? Uh, did you expect any, any more or less from Nork? Um, because that's just the state's energy and that, that extends far beyond a skin color. No, it's the spirit that, Hey, I do as I please. I am an American citizen. It, it really is one of the best parts of being in this nation and recognizing that, um, you know, Mr. Frey is not, Oh, is, is in Canada. It's, you know, two different, two different things, you know, they're, they're far more polite here, not so much. And so you coming back like this, yeah, you've opened the state up, which can't afford loss. I mean, the financial situation was already jacked up in this state. Like, honestly, my God, the financial situation was already completely screwed up in this state. And like what you've basically opened the state up to is even more litigation and you know just court courts and lawyers lawyers man lawyers here in new jersey make insane amounts of money can we not pretend otherwise like remember that hundred million dollars zuckerberg gave nork yeah most of that went to lawyers and consultants who have law degrees can we dig it my goodness we have a public official saying we will name and shame you for breaking the law. We will dox you and publicly identify you to the rest of the world so that people start getting this message through their heads. Can we fully appreciate the implications of a government official saying such a thing? But let's come back to that after we address the five charges of child endangerment. Now, in Okay, uh, you can get into the endangerment in a second, but what I want to bring in, what I want to definitely push through here right now is that there's a difference between it being public record and, and, and you know, you having to go to, like, the county to go find, like, look up the name of, of an arrest or something like that, and another thing for a government official, somebody who is, you know, basically, who is a public servant to sit there and put you on blast. There's, it's two completely different, um, legally speaking, it's two completely different frameworks. Canada child endangerment is defined as follows. Everyone who unlawfully abandons or exposes a child who is under the age of 10 years so that its life is or is likely to be endangered or its health is or is likely to be permanently injured is guilty of an indictable offense and liable to imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years or is guilty of an offense punishable on summary conviction. From what I understand, under New Jersey law, child endangerment is defined as follows. Any person having a legal duty for the care of a child or who has assumed responsibility for the care of a child who causes the child harm that would make the child an abuse or neglected child as defined in rs etc etc is guilty of a crime of the second degree any other person who engages in conduct or who causes harm as described in this paragraph is guilty of a crime of the third degree so now presumably these five charges for child endangerment relate to the fact that these parents apparently expose their children to the dangers of the my sharona cyrus in the context of a party that was thrown in contravention of the prohibition on gatherings so it's it's in its inception in a lot of ways, you know, like the breaking of the law within breaking of the law within the breaking of the law within the breaking of the law. <laughs> Or stacking. I've discussed this on the channel before. So, uh, law stacking is a fantastic way to just, you know, burden the individual with, you know, so much, uh, so many charges that they they going to hit you with something. Something's going to stick. You'll they'll 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 the the prosecutors will get their W. And to go back to what I was saying when it came to the um, 
to uh, the public, the public official, um, you know, putting your name out there like that. I'm not sure if that counts as slander or if it's liable. Like it's in print, isn't it? If it's if it's in print, it's liable. I'm not sure, but yeah, like that is a issue. <laughs> Let's let that expansion of child endangerment sink in for a second. Setting aside these statistics as to who is mostly affected by the My Sharona Cyrus, that being not kids. Let's just assume for the sake of prosecution that children can be exposed to this My Sharona Cyrus. These parents have been charged with five counts of child endangerment on the basis that they threw a gathering in violation of a no gathering prohibition. And in so doing, in theory, exposed their children to the My Sharona Cyrus such that it constitutes putting those kids' lives in danger. Can we imagine the non My Sharona Cyrus implications that these charges can entail? We are entering a world where authorities can charge parents with child endangerment on the basis they expose their children to a Cyrus. And don't get me wrong, I don't agree with what the parents did, and I wouldn't do it myself, period, full stop. But to go from there to a world in which that can constitute criminal charges of child endangerment is just beyond the pale. He ain't wrong. By any stretch of the imagination, this is, like I said, inception. Charges within charges within charges within charges. And that's a huge, huge liability for the for the entire state. Because once all this is said and done... And it, these these parents won't be the only ones. I, I promise you, there is tons of litigate litigation coming down due to what's taking place here and the quarantine and the like, and exactly uh, you know what constitutes your individual rights, your constitutional rights, as opposed to what the state can come and take, what the government can come and take away from you. There is a lot, a lot left to be unpacked here, but we're going to be wrapping this one up on, or, 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 this, we're going to be wrapping this one up right now. I just found this insanely fascinating. I really enjoy his content. I'm going to leave the link. That, I promise I'm going to leave a link to his, uh, to his channel in the description because I really appreciate how he gets at it. But, you know, he's a, he's, he seems like a nice guy. Like, yeah, I'm going to just follow the government. So, you know, whatever the government says. And there's tons of people like that. Just like, yeah, sure, government. By all means, tell me what to do. Tell me how to live my life. I'm like, what? Bruh, just just leave me alone, government. Make I'll pay you the taxes. Just make sure that, I, you know, the roads, are, the roads are good and we're all right. And guess what? Here in Jersey, the roads are not good. So, so we don't even got that going for us. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody get nobody scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments, man. I mean, <clears throat> if you think it's bad now, if you think this state is ridiculously expensive now. These suits come down, first and foremost, they have to be paid for. And then secondly, if like, depending on how the suits go, this state is untenable. This state is definitely on the way to bankruptcy. And you just drove your economy into a wall. All for, all because Orange Man bad. All because Orange Man bad. Word? Really? Was it worth it? Because no, it wasn't. It, it really doesn't feel worth it. <laughs> And once again, guys, this is a men's channel. This is a man's channel. Fear don't live here. So don't come in my comments telling, oh, all oh, oh, the people who are being hurt. Look, 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 look. We're going to come at this from a completely rational and logical standpoint. We do not play that, oh, my goodness, my emotions game in this realm because that's a big part of the reason why YouTube doesn't like me like that. But either ways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, okay? And until the next one.